Hello and welcome to part 1 of my screencast which teaches you how to work with the windows command line or terminal in Ubuntu. Uh, most of the commands in uh, both the cases that is windows command line and terminal in Ubuntu are same and if there is a difference I'll work them out for you in separate screencast and uh, yeah let's get started. And by command line if you are still thinking about the cmd.exe that is yeah, if you are thinking about this particular program, you are correct, but we are definitely not going to use this because there is a much improved and advanced version than cmd.exe that is called Windows Partial. Uh, to access Windows Partial, click on your start menu, go to all programs and then go to accessories and then go to Windows Partial and click on the Windows Partial icon. Now the partial opened. Um, uh, most of the command again as I've told you the commands which work in Windows partial also work in Linux uh, Ubuntu terminal but there are some changes and uh, they won't work and I'm going to make separate screencast for both of them and uh, let's get started the first command which I'm going to teach you is clear which cleans off all the stuff that is there on the command line uh, window if I press clear everything is cleaned the next command which I'm going to teach is print working directory which is nothing but PWT. PWD is an abbreviation for print working directory. Enter and yes, output which says the path is C users remus comes out. That's it. There is nothing great about this command but pretty useful command. The, just remember PW stands for print working directory. The next command which I'm going to teach you is how to make folders. That command is called mkdir which stands for make directory and if you want to make a directory inside of Remus go to the folder Remus I'll tell you how to go to the folder Remus go to the folder Remus and type mkdir and type the directory name whatever I suppose I want my directory name to be temporary I'll just type temp or temporary or tempo or whatever I want and then hit enter and the directory name temp got created uh, the date of the creation and the time is also written here and now I am going to create uh, another directory inside the temp directory that is C sorry mkdir temp slash I want to create a directory named stuff inside temp now a directory named stuff inside temp got created now I want to create another directory inside stuff uh, called more stuff now what I am going to do is mkdir temps slash stuff slash more stuff now a more directly named more stuff got created mm, now I want to create some fake directory inside more stuff which contains another fake directory I can do it it's very simple mkdir temp slash stuff slash more stuff slash mm, child slash grandchild slash John the directory name is John now a directory named John is created in another directory named grandchild which is inside the directory child which is inside more stuff I think it's confusing but uh, you can understand uh, if you practice it a lot you will definitely get the hang of it uh, nice Whoa. this is all the dire directories are created and if you want to check whether really these directories are created go to your windows explorer local disk c users go to your default username remus and here is the temp directory wow nice go inside and you can find another directory named stuff go inside you'll find another directory named more stuff child exactly whatever you wanted to create everything is here but you have not used the new folder uh, button or right click and create new and you haven't used the stuff but you just created all that stuff using your windows command line which is pretty neat and efficient now now if you want to navigate through these directories the command which you have to use is cd which is nothing but change directory uh, you are currently in your home directory and you want to go to the temp directory inside the temp directory for god knows what you want to do something so you want to go to the temp directory type cd which stands for 
change directory and then write the directory's name cd temp and now you are in the temp directory type okay, i'll just clear this stuff type pwd and now you can see your directory name that is c users remus temp now you want to go inside the temp directory that is cd stuff uh, you want to go inside the stuff directory inside the most of directory also now you are directly in the most of directory instead of going to cd stuff and then going to most of you can directly go to most of just put a slash now you want to access the john directory cd mm, uh, child slash grandchild slash john now you are inside the john directory great now you want to go back in directory up how are you going to do the command for that is cd two periods cd two periods will take you back one directory up and you are now in the green gra grandchild directory type pwd and then here it is c users remus blah 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 grandchild now you want to go to the stuff directory that is three directories of grandchild child and more stuff that is period period backslash period period backslash period period basically three pairs of periods separated by two backslashes oops i haven't typed cd so and now you are in more st stuff directory as you wanted i'll just clear the stuff uh but uh, you want to go to your uh, home directory directly what are you supposed to do that is cd shift and press the key above your tab key that is the tilde cd tilde gets you directly to your home directory that's it for uh, navigation through the directories and now you want to know what all directories are there inside a directory the command for that is ls and if you click ls in your whole default directory you'll get a lot of directories and a bunch of all the directories which are there inside the remus directory and uh, suppose you want to know what is there inside uh, the temp directory type cd temp and then click ls yes there is one directory and that is called stuff if you want to know what is there inside stuff go to cds stuff and type ls you will know there is a directory called more stuff again well that is cool now you want and the main uh, motivation behind naming the temp directory as temp because i want to remove the directory now go to your home directory by pressing cd and did lucky and now uh, you want to direct uh, delete this whole temp directory what you have to do is you have to use the rm key which stands for remove remove temp and then hit enter you will get a confirmation dialog box it's not a dialog box per se to be precise but you get a confirmation message whether you want to confirm everything you delete this thing or not yes i do want to delete so i'll just press y and then enter and now that directory that directory is not there how to know just click ls and then the directory name temp is not there here there is a directory name temp now there is no directory name temp you, you can confirm it yourself by using the graphical user interface browser that is windows explorer local disk c users remus and then there is no temp directory that's all in this today's screencast uh, i'll meet you guys later and remember all these keys work exactly the same in our unix system thank you